Hi. Will anxiety attacks ever go away? Because when I was younger, very young, I thought that one day it's going to just magically disappear, go away, and everything's going to be all right. Well, I was wrong, <laughs> really wrong. Because I've had anxiety since I was a kid, like 10 years old. So it was like a curse. So, so it was always like a monkey on my back, the whole anxiety. And I had good periods and I had not so good periods. And for me, what I learned is that certain things would trigger my anxiety attack. A new stressful job, uh, some hardship in life, you know, some uh, uh, negative interaction. It was like a gasoline. It drove me crazy because I had amazing periods where I was anxiety free. Then suddenly it all comes back like a nightmare. And I was back in square one. The most crucial thing I learned in, during the last years is a thing called blood sugar. Not so long ago I had no idea what blood sugar is. But then I started studying. I started noticing that I always had most of my anxiety attacks after lunch at work. So I started studying that. Why is that? Why do those awful anxiety attacks happen always around that time? <laughs> then I learned about blood sugar and low blood sugar. So I immediately went keto, like immediately. And that helped me a lot, going keto diet. For me, it was very successful. Now I do low carb. So I keep my carbs under 100 grams. Most, on the most days, I go around 60, 70 carbs a day. That has helped me a lot. So you should really examine your diet. What kind of diet are you eating? And how certain foods affect you? Just check glycemic index and what foods are low, medium and high. Because those foods that are in a high index, they will spike your blood sugar. So I'm really paranoid about what I eat. So now I'm like a low carb freak, you might say, which sucks because I love carbs. I love them. Over the years, I examined other things. For example, caffeine use. If you have anxiety issues, caffeine is like a, it's like a gasoline. It's literally like a gasoline. Coffee, that has effect on me that if I drink a coffee, then I'm more, more prone to anxiety. So I've, over the years, I've cut back on caffeine. Plus, now I use ADHD medication Concerta, so I, I can't drink a lot of coffee. You've probably heard about meditation. I used to think that meditation was, you know, it was BS. No way it will help me. No way. Just stupid breathing, just sitting like a Buddha and meditating for 15 minutes. <laughs> it's not for me. After I experienced the, the benefits of meditation, by the way, I do transcendental meditation where I do a, a mantra for me it's OM mantra so I force myself to do meditation every day for 15-20 minutes just sit somewhere and for 15-20 minutes just do this OM OM <laughs> I'm not joking you do that for 50 minutes at least 50 minutes every day it will change your brain it will change your mental state so that's why I force myself to meditate every day. If you have watched my early videos on this channel, you know that I was using uh, SSRI medications, Brintelix and Lexapro. And they helped me quite a bit, especially Lexapro. You know, I, try, I think medications, they have a place sometimes in, in our lives. And they did help me. Also, you might want to check out like something like tryptophan or F5-HTP, which increase serotonin naturally. But be careful with long-term use. Now the question is, do I still have anxiety attacks? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to say that I haven't had them in a very long time. <laughs> Knock on wood. The whole idea is to keep myself as calm as possible. I watch my caffeine intake, I meditate, I eat, I eat foods that keep my blood sugar stable. So I try to be like a monk, basically. Because I know the anxiety is somewhere here. It's somewhere here and, you know, some trigger, you know, blow blood sugar, stressful event, they can trigger that. And of course, exercise helps a lot. Especially for me, I noticed that aerobic exercise, like jogging, helps me a lot in 
feeling mentally much better. So we'll see what happens. You never know because you know life is a very complicated thing. You have ups and downs. You have good periods and bad periods. And you never know what's around the corner. But I hope that I will never experience the anxiety I used to have years ago. I really hope that it's behind me. So I would like to hear your experience with anxiety attacks. Have you destroyed them somehow, deleted from your life completely, or are they still part of your life? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Take care and bye.